bring together African practitioners and policymakers to Asia, sit down and we discuss issues related to lessons learned, if you like, from, from best practices in, in Africa, for example, ecotourism is much more developed in Africa, um, and compared to the situation in Asia where the orangutan conflict, if you like, is somewhat sensitive, but also very pertinent and contemporary at, the, at this moment in time. So the three, the three main subjects we've been looking at in terms of the policy implications of great ape conservation in Africa and Asia are uh, the possibility of Red Plus, uh, co-benefits contributing towards conservation of great apes, issues of human wildlife conflict, and thirdly rather, um, ecotourism. We're now here in, in uh, Kalimantan looking at uh, issues of, um, on the ground of, of how orangutans are being affected by land clearance, land conversion, and efforts by national parks such as the Sabangan National Park, forest rehabilitation, um, for orangutan conservation. And here we are in, uh, in the Nyara Menteng area where there are a number of uh, islands where um, orangutans are being rehabilitated with a view to them being released into the wild. And so this again a very interesting perspective from the African um, situation where wild um, great ape tourism is very well developed um, and it's something that we're looking into to promoting here much more as well. We started um, in 1999 uh, coming out to do orangutan nest surveys, just looking at the population of the peat swamp. At that time it was thought peat swamp forest was fairly depauperate in terms of biodiversity. There wasn't much here. This is not true, as you can see from all of our pictures. Um, and now we have expanded beyond the orangutans. We're studying the both ape species that are here, the gibbons and the orangutans. We've been doing long-term ecological work, uh, looking at forest restoration, regeneration, both natural and assisted. We have a long-term camera trapping project focusing on the clouded leopard, which is Borneo's largest predator. Um, but also we're trying to study and understand better so that we're trying to look at this place, not just from the focus of the large uh, mammals, but try and make a much more ecosystem-wide approach right down from the small, uh, short-lived species up to the long-lived orangutans. Di sini banyak aktivitas untuk uh, penelitian tentang orang hutan, tentang daming dan plotting. Kadang-kadang kita bisa lihat orang hutan di sini dan paling mudah untuk uh, menemukan orang hutan ketika musim buah. Kaca Islands and other islands here are islands that we use for pre site for the orangutan before they go to the real forest. For the first time, seeing an orangutan in his natural habitat was something exceptional. It's a, it's a unique experience. I 
merasa suatu kehargaan mendapat kunjungan semacam ini. E, tentunya harapan kami kunjungan ini akan membawa suatu manfaat yang besar ke depannya berkaitan dengan adanya pengembangan-pengembangan terutama ke pariwisataan yang ada di wilayah kota Palangkaraya umumnya dan Saigohong khususnya. What is really important for me is that uh, beside a workshop of exchanging with a different expert on uh, mountain gorilla behavior, tourism, uh, ecotourism, the good part of it was the fact that we went in the field, talk with the people, live realities, and uh, discuss about how appropriate we can probably do ecotourism according to the reality of each of the countries, each of the species. Bringing together practitioners, I think, is facil facilitating that process. Has been the most valuable, and you can see, you know, behind the camera, you know, there are guys who practice orangutan conservation in Asia, exchanging experiences with guys who are doing the same in, in Africa, and, and that's the real value of these kind of, of workshops and seeing things in the field um, as we're doing now. Mm -hmm.